And first tonight, we are tracking your vote in South Carolina's primary election. Every single state house and state Senate seat is up for grabs tonight. We're also tracking all seven races for the House of Representatives. And there are a lot of races, so if you are looking for one in particular, it will show up at the bottom of your screen. But one race we have been following closely is the York County Sheriff's race. That's right. At this hour, we cannot call the race, but here are the uh, numbers that we're seeing here as we come on the air. Michael Belk leading with about 26% of the vote. Tony Breeden in second with 25% of that vote. Yeah, Beth Tolson, you can see the wife of current Sheriff Kevin Tolson is in third with 19% of the vote. She was at the first or she was the first Republican uh, running uh, after her husband quietly exited the race. Beth filed to run at the last second, but your county Republicans later reopened and extended the filing deadline to allow others to toss their name into this race. So all of these candidates on the ballot have law enforcement experience. No Democrats are running, so whoever wins this race will likely take over as York County Sheriff. And if this does go to a runoff, keep in mind you have to have a majority of the votes to be able to secure this primary here. That would happen two weeks from today. So. We'll of course keep folks posted. Meantime, we're seeing down in the low country, the Associated Press tonight calling the Republican primary race for the U.S. House for Nancy Mace. In recent months, the incumbent has gone from an enemy to an ally of former President Donald Trump and will face a Democratic opponent this November. District 1 is the closest one to a swing district in the largely red Palmetto State. As results continue to come in, you can track the latest by downloading the WCNC Charlotte mobile app, a free download and easy to do. Let's get over to